And so the challenge we're going to be doing today is going to be called Minion Secret. So the challenge description says, Get ready for a mischievous adventure with your favorite minions. They've been up to their old tricks, and this time they've hidden a fly in a devious way within the Android source cord. Your task is to channel your inner minion and dive into the disassembly to compile the code. Watch out because these little troublemakers have a hidden flag in multiple sneaky spots and maybe even pulled a fast one and concealed it in the same location. Put it on your overalls, grab your magnifying glass, and get cracking. The minions have left clues and it's up to you to follow their trial and uncover the flags. Can you outwit these playful practices to find their secrets? Let the minion mischief begin. Find the Android APK here, minions mobile application, and try to get the flag. So, with this challenge, you have to download the minions application, which I already did like twice because I was doing this challenge and trying to make this video. And we get two hints. First hint is do you know how to how to a disassemble an APK file? And the third hint, any interesting source file. So the thing we, we want to go to is decompiler.com where you could decompile any kind of file. In this case, I'm gonna decompile the APK, which I already did open and then it's decompiling it for me. Upload and then decompiling it and I get this. So I downloaded the zip already. I already downloaded it twice as you can see right here. And I already un on on um unzipped it and everything and we get these files right here so if i go on my terminal and then if i go clear and if i go to ls and go all the way back to my downloads folder we see that we go to cd minions and then we see we go into this so we get two folders resources and sources so the way to solve this challenge is first to understand how the structure of an APK file is. And the, within an APK file, it usually has this structure where it's just research, resources, res, values. And resources, res, values could be could be found in this. And this directory is, as it says right here, it's used to store various resource files that define values used throughout the application. So within these values, these values could be either the colors, string, which the, which uh, shows like the the uh, the text you see in the UI. So if we're thinking this is an app, and at the end of the day, if we use the app and play the app, and at the end we get like some kind of flag, then maybe that's where we could get the file in strings at XML because these are the string values that are shown in the display in the UI in the application itself. So this is where I got the idea where we're able to get the flag in strings at XML. So if we go check uh, CD resources, we see the res section right there. So if we do CD res and then LS, we get a bunch of directories. But what we want to look for is the strings dot XML file. So what we can do is do crep RNI and then the name of the file we're trying to look for and then dot um uh which uh find a file let's look up mm, find a file terminal mac mac mm, find dot name okay so that's what we have to do find dot and then strings dot xml i think strings uh xml oh uh, we get a bunch of them right here values uh what if we do strings So we see a bunch of them in the values feature. Uh, uh, strings XML. And then it says, oh, name. Name. So we get a bunch of strings values. So the ones that we have to look for is all of these. But I guess we want to look at the one that doesn't stand out as much. So the one that doesn't stand out as much is probably if we go to LS values, we see all these values right here, which makes sense. But the one that doesn't stand out as much is the one that probably just says values by itself, which is probably this one right here. 
since all of these are so uniquely different with different uh, uh, iterations after values. So if we check CD values in LS, we get a bunch of stuff right here. So we now check cat uh, strings.txt. Strings are XML, I, I guess. And then we get a bunch of this. But the thing that stands out to me is banana, which is what a minion eats. A minion, uh, like in the movie, a minions are obsessed with bananas. And we get this value right here, which looks like base64 encoded. So if you go to Cyberchef, Cyberchef, and we grab the value right around uh, here and do from base 64 it, it prints out gibberish so it's not base 64 but something similar so we just gotta keep on testing these out until something comes out 62 58 i think 45 too large 32 and then we get the flag pico ctf it wasn't hard you know unraveling the mobile code so yeah that was about it for this challenge. You just got to look for the specific values that you want to look for. Not really like the best like decompilation or best way to solve it. It was mostly like just guessing and finding, doing a little bit of intuition. But yeah, not my favorite, but it was all right. But yeah, that's about it for this challenge. Hope you guys learned something new today. I know I did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.